my other thing else. And uh, we're going to talk about analyzing handwriting once again. With us, as usual, on this day is Brenda Bradshaw. Good and morning. today we have an interesting letter. Right. First, can you tell me anything about the R on my hat? Lord is that an R? It's supposed to be an R. That's a Richmond Braves letter. Well, it looks like a baseball on the end of it. Look, isn't that interesting? Huh? huh? Looks like a baseball on the end of it, but it's an outdoors R. And it has a pointed cap on it, which would mean a person who is outdoors quite a lot. A small, lowercase r. But can they hit? That's, <laughs> that's the thing. Let's talk about Asians. Can you hit? Can I hit? No. I, that's why I'm not playing baseball. Right. Probably so. Uh, let's see. We're talking about H today. And H is uh, the letter that tells people's involvement with situations, people's involvement with community planning, mm -hmm. and people involved with a plot. And I've brought some very Ooh. notorious H's this morning. We have for a fact. I have Hitler. Things. This is Hitler this morning. This is an actual, uh, what I did was I got his autograph and I blew this up to size. It is not exactly, so it's not a forgery, but it does represent Hitler's H. It has this slash mark in the middle that uh -huh. is an added part of Hitler's age, which shows that he is a person who is totally aggressive, mm -hmm. getting what he wants. He has loops that go from the beginning of the letter all the way through the letter, showing his total involvement and his aggressive nature. See the sharp points? Right. Yes. And uh, Hitler was a person who delegated his duties. You can see that he is delegating his duties. Number one is an example of Hitler, and I have another one who delegated duties also. The second person... Mm -hmm. how, can you, wait a minute, okay. how can you tell he, he was delegating his duties from that? Because he has a certain extrovert slant. This means okay. leaning. 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 Huh? He was being forceful. He was leaning. He was telling people, you do this. You do this the way I tell you to do this. Uh -huh. And he showed he has a total extrovert wrapped up in his own evil doings, wrapped up in getting what he wanted done. Right, okay. He was a dictatorship, of course. Mm -hmm. So what else? Do we we have uh, number two. Uh, this is, looks very plain, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. Except for the, the kind of star-shaped loop down there. Right. There is no entry loop, uh, no uh, caution towards this person. This person had an act to do, and they had to perform that act and get it done and get out fast. Lee Harvey Oswald, yes. Okay. He was determined to do this evil thing. He was, he was so aggressive towards doing it that he was controlled by it. You can see that it was that was his main objective. That's why it's very plain. There's a right, he dedication to a certain dedicated, kind of very dedicated. Hmm. He was a person who was told to do something, and he did it. Okay, let's let's go ahead and. Look All right, the then we have the third one, and the third one on the list. Now, this is kind of ordinary. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. This is Henry VIII. Now, we know what kind of mess he got. That's right. <laughs> Henry could not make his mind up uh -huh. whether he wanted to be a ruler or concern himself with sexual relationships with women. He was married six times, and he beheaded uh, his second, I believe, and third wife. Mm -hmm. uh, the bottom part of this age is not really needed, is it? A loop at the bottom. It looks almost like two letters. Right. Next week we'll be getting into sexual relationships with people, and this is the lower zone of the letter. We'll be talking about sexual oh, relationships. Oh, sure, okay. definitely. We will be talking about it. This is Himmler. He was the Gestapo chief, uh -huh. SS, the mass murderer, and he has a sword in his name because he's totally aggressive, and he gave orders, and he expected them to be followed to the... Or, uh, to the exact letter. He Again, was very, very straight. Very, little, oh. Very little ornate no. things there. So oh, that, cruel. Indicating that he was dedicated yes. to that one. Dedicated. Very cruel person. Okay. Uh, Tuesday night's UFOs at Lee Davis High School. Okay. UFO, the you. letters UFOs are about No. You. UFOs from okay. other planets. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank nice you, you, Jim. Again, Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Where is it? Is there it is, Cindy. Cindy. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, the number's on your screen where you can get a hold yeah, of me. Yeah, get a hold of me, yes. Yeah. And uh, she will be glad to tell you about UFOs and right. other letters. Cindy. Okay. <laughs> After seeing Brenda all the time, I'm afraid to let anybody see my H or anything else. <laughs> Coming up Monday on Good Morning Virginia, a very special day for older citizens, all about the way you feel about yourself, interesting things that you can do, and even some fashion for you. So that's